First of all, <laughs> when you get asked to do something, you, you make a choice. And I thought, barging, that's a nice thing to be doing, isn't it? Barging yes, with like-minded yeah. people. Uh, alleged celebrities, can I say that? Because I, sort of, you know, I know, you know what everyone is. That celebrity is such a terrible word. Anyway, so five of us sitting it. there, maybe having a cup of tea. Like, yeah, rope. lots of ropes <laughs> and everything. And I'm imagining that and I'm thinking, lovely. And then we go to France and I'm shown this whopper. Can't tell you how big this thing is. Oh, we're not back to the novelty <laughs> boxes, shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, no. OK. Anyway, I, and, and they show us this boat, and it's like a massive great cruiser. And it's me and Tessa on one of these huge behemoths, and the, the three boys, one of whom, Tom Conti, has been boating for ages, on the other. It's like having two days in a mini learning how to drive yeah. and then being shown an articulated lorry and off you go <laughs> with, a, with a few hours' tuition. It ended up crashing left, right and centre. I did it on day one. Did you do that thing where you lie on your back and walk along the underneath of the bridge? No. No, we didn't do a huge amount of... <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, I let, let's yeah. have a look at it. Here's you yeah. and uh, Tess learning the ropes, quite literally. Yeah. Can you... <laughs> Yeah. It looks like a, quite an expensive boat. What happened was I slowly, essentially, drifted into the undergrowth and started mel melding, really, with the trees. I started mm. communing quite heavily. Yeah. And Tessa was stranded, of course, in the mooring. And then, But then, uh, a bit later on, Dermot crashed into something. Yeah. You didn't stop in five-star hotels on no, the way. No, we were sleeping on the boat, yes. Yeah, so I imagine yeah. Tess is sort of um, hunting for fish in the water. <laughs> yeah, the old javelin. <laughs> javelin. Please welcome wildlife cameraman Gordon Buchanan. <laughs> Yeah. And that, was, that, was, and that, that would hopefully do it. Why? Is that why they, that's why they never attack geese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Heavy was the breathing. Was it panting or was it doing that? It was... It was Doing sinister pressure. breathing. No, it was that's... more sinister than that. It was, no, that it was, it was just, it was very close and... and... <laughs> <laughs> it's like I... On the bottom of the sea, it's really, yeah, eye-opening. Uh, the stuff that we've got here on this table, then, and just just talk us through what yeah. would be on what animal um, things that we've got. And from the rays, with, it was a magnesium link in the chain, and magnesium dissolves in salt water, so you put this on, you've got eight hours. ...as well, is that you, you're rooting for both sides. Mm. That's the weird thing, because particularly if they're mm. endangered, but they're mm. going after something, Public titivating's just gone in. I know, we said it was an older word. I know. Mm. These years, reading the Oxford English Dictionary, and he's just picked out all the best words, like to gove, which means to stir stupidly, and I do that all the time. He and thought he was just getting five stars. You've said four to five. I know. <laughs> <laughs> did really well. As the, the second I left, they took off. <laughs> <laughs> Such a disappointment. Uh, Would you put in room 101? Oh. Which other bad? Oh. I could do that. No, all right, really don't worry. We're down to five now. Just You're all right. It, You've got away with it. the members of Franz Ferdinand that left. <laughs> good work, good work. You doing good a strange work, I think we should enter you, actually, Frank, in yeah. the Dad Dancing World Championship. <laughs> yeah. But now playing us out, here's Franz Ferdinand with the title track from their latest album, Always Ascending. See you tomorrow. Good night.